Now, ferritin is, as uh, you may know, ferritin is the storage form for iron. Now, iron, um, as we've said many times, is uh, essential. It's like over 200 uh, different chemical reactions in the body. It require enzymatic reactions that require, uh, require it, you know, so without it, you're dead, just for those reasons. But it also carries the oxygen. It's it's how the oxygen is carried in the center of the porphyrin ring, which is, makes up hemoglobin, right? So in addition to that, that's what iron is. But iron is, it's, it comes with three pluses or two pluses, right? So it's, it's a very electron negative. In other words, it needs electrons, right? And it's gonna grab them from anywhere it can. Okay, so in, in that regard, it functions like uh, an oxidant. It functions like uh, an acid. An acids grab electrons. Acid grabs electrons. Oxidants grab electrons. But that quality of it is very important. But so it has to be stored. So so it ne needs to be used in specific enzymes. But it has to be stored by something where it can't be active. And then when it when it ha when it goes, is, is transported from one place to another, it has another type of molecule that transports it, called transferrin. So we have ferritin that stores it, and transferrin that 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 transports it. Okay. Very, very important. But ferritin is also goes up with acute inflammation. The ferritin also can go up in other conditions. So you have to be sure that the reason that the ferritin is going up is related to the cancer. So why would cancer have a high ferritin level? <clears throat> well, because iron is really essential for oxidative phosphorylation, which is how we make energy. Iron is essential for replication, for DNA divide, you know, for, for cells di <clears throat> dividing and making two new cells, right? Remember, we, we make 37 million new cells per second because we're recycling old, so old cells. So very important to do, right? So iron's necessary for that. And then the fer it's, so the ferritin stores it. So what happens is, because the cancer cells need more ferritin, they also need more copper. They need copper for several reasons. One is copper is involved with the oxidative phosphorylation. It's, it's, part of uh, the third aspect of it, right? Copper is necessary. Uh, copper is also necessary for making new blood vessels, so angiogenesis, right? So all that. So anyway, they both need to be stored. They both need to be grabbed, you know, and like copper is, is, is transported by something called ceruloplasm, uh, whereas uh, iron is transported by, uh, is stored by ferritin and, and, and transported by transferrin, right? Okay, so and cancer cells have more transferrin receptors, so anyway. So what's happening is this, the cancer cell needs to grab more and more and more iron because it needs to divide rapidly. So the body's gonna hold it, it's gonna grab it, it's gonna keep it in the ferritin. And what we see is a high ferritin and a low serum iron level. And this happens a lot.